I'm sure I wasn't the only one who felt that the fossil Pokemons from the Galar region looked a little off. And why exactly do they only exist in halves? The Galar region where the Pokemon Sword and Shield games are located was based off Great Britain, with England and Wales being the location of the main map. The expansion packs introduce us to other parts of the UK. Scotland was introduced in the Crown Tundra, and the Isles of Men was introduced in the Isles of Armour. So how does this all link to our fossil Pokemon? They are a reference to early paleontology. When real-life fossils were beginning to be discovered, the scientists couldn't quite make out what they were. After all, they were creatures we have never seen before in the flesh. But with competition coming from their American counterparts, early British paleontologists felt the pressure to complete a full specimen of these ancient creatures. Therefore, they would do a mix and match for our full specimens that look visually correct to the prevailing beliefs at that time. An example would be the Iguanodon. Its thumb spike was originally believed to have been on its head, sharing a similar function to a modern day rhino's horn. And when you look at the Galar fossils, you can see many references to this early paleontology era. The games even go out of their way to explicitly portray how unnatural they are. Firstly, all of them belong to the undiscovered egg group. This means they can't even breed with a ditto. They are also genderless, a feature shared with many other man-made Pokemon. Previous games have you reviving fossils in a well-furnished museum. But in Galair, you are reviving your fossils along Route 6. In a rather beat up machine and a strange scientist, Kara Liss, whose name I must add is a reference to the word callous. All this together paints a very experimental approach to fossil revival in Galair. Finally, this hybrid fossil approach was possibly done to differ from an established game mechanic. All fossil Pokemons up to this point were part rock typing. This was emphasized in the game canon as a result of being revived from incomplete DNA. These hybrid Pokemons were able to completely defy these mechanics and are able to feature a new typing combination previously not seen in fossil Pokemon. I can't help but wonder what the original forms of these Pokemon look like. You certainly cannot convince me that a Pokemon whose head is upside down will be having a very happy time.